Hi everyone, in this video I will give you reasons why you should learn Dash for your algo trading. We are here on Plotly's official website and uh, Plotly is the developer of Dash. So to begin, what is Dash? Dash is a web framework for Python where you can develop interactive applications which is built on top of Flask and React. And I will show you a few examples where you can use Dash in trading. Number one reason, you can use Dash for charting and drawing indicators. In many cases, like indicators such as moving average, RSI are not enough and when you develop your own custom indicators, you want to be able to plot them on your charts and for that reason, Dash is a good candidate to solve this issue. Here's a quick example how to create a Dash app. So from Dash, we import Dash and then we create an app and that is equal to dash underscore name. Then I have to import dash HTML components, which is basically a component that will be visible in the dash application. And to make the components visible, we have to add it to app.layout. So in this layout, we create a HTML div component. Inside this div component, we have html.h1, which is Trapy dash app example. Then we add it to if name equals main, and we run the app. The app should be then accessible from a local host. And if you click on the link, here is our app, TraderPy Dash App example. Let's spice things up by adding a graph to our Dash application. So in our graph, I want to add EuroUSD daily timeframe data. For that, I'm importing the Matrix 5 library. And with the help of Matter 5, I am exporting the OHLC data with MT5.copyrights from POS. We see that now the data frame is ready to be passed into our Plotly Express library. Plotly is a data visualization library. And we can create a figure object with fig is equal to px.line and passing our data frame values to create the figure object. Last thing we need is, is we need to render the figure object into Dash. And for that, we're using Dash core components and using DCC graph in our Dash application. So this Dash application will look something like this with the, da with the graph added. And we see nice close prices on your USD. Number two reason why you should learn Dash for algo trading is because I believe that Dash is also very good at monitoring your algos and monitoring your account. So if your account goes to negative, Dash can serve as a monitoring system that will disable your algos and alert you in case something goes wrong. In this application, I've connected Dash to Metro 5 and is checking equity real time. If you feel brave enough, you can even use Dash to make your own trading platform. So every platform has a real-time updating chart. So what we'll do is the same. We will update our figure on your USD with a callback. So we have to import Dash dependencies input output state. Inside the callback, we specify the output, which is our div component prices and our input will be a DCC interval, which will update or fire the callback every second. So now we have create function update chart and we'll return our graph. This is the result. So now we see that our graph is updating prices on EuroUSD every second, which is great. Now what we have to do is we have to add the trading buttons, buy and sell, to make it a functioning trading platform. To make the buttons, I am using HTML.button, one buy and one sell. And then I have to import a function that will send an order to the Metro 5 platform. So by clicking on the button, this will trigger either a buy or a sell order in our MT5 platform. So we're back in our Dash application. And here I've created a horizontal separator. I've added trading EuroUSD so we know what section we're at. And here, this is the input for our volume, and we can choose if we want to buy and sell. On the right side, we have Matrix 5 platform to which we are connected. And if I specify one here, it should open one lot on EuroUSD. 
and we see that this button worked. So this front end Dash app application sends the request Terminator for 5 platform, so it means that we can trade through this application. If we click on sell, we now have a solid order and now we have a functioning trading platform in Dash. Alright, so I would like to wrap this up. Of course, I believe that there are many other reasons why you should use Dash. For example, Dash is also useful for backtesting or post-trade analysis. You can also use Dash to monitor your positions, your exposure, and many other things. Of course, Dash was designed to be a data analytic application, creating interactive graphs and components. So even if you are not trading, Dash is a very useful toolkit that you can use as a Python developer. If you want to learn more about Dash, I will add a link to the documentation in the descriptions below. In the future, I will also add more videos, more in-depth tutorials on how to code in Dash. I hope that you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will be back very soon. Thank you for watching.